So we're going to test the two ice cream that are very popular in America. It's the drumstick kind of version. You probably had this when you're a kid or you're probably still eating it right now. But anyways, we're going to compare the two. One's off brand, which is Kroger. The other one is Nestle. So like always, we want to compare the calorie counts between the two. So let's do that very quickly. So as you can see, the calories between the two are actually the same. We actually found a product that has the same calories. Oh my goodness. Now let's see if the taste is going to be the same. So we got 15 grams of total fat on our name brand one versus 15 grams of total fat. So that's the same. Uh, cholesterol is less on the name brand one, but it's minuscule, like five milligrams. Sodium is the same. Carbohydrates a little bit more on the left side, which is two grams of extra sugar. No, yeah, two grams of extra sugar, but not added sugar. And then we have two grams of extra protein on the right side and four grams on the left. And then that's the pretty much your main difference so basically these two are very similar so because it's getting to summer and stuff like that that's why we're gonna try these ice cream right now so that you know which ice cream to pick one is definitely cheaper than the other so the non-name brand one is 30 cents less per ice cream that you get this one is 30 cents more uh, so basically there's only four servings here but there's eight of them here so i just divided the amount of how much it costs to how many are in the box to get roughly how much it is per ice cream so that's how i came up with the number so it's about 30 cents difference so anyways let's see the packaging of these two so it looks like you got the name brand one with a little bit more better packaging in my opinion because it's clear and you can see the ice cream itself and then you have the non-brand one which is plain and white and simple so let's just see how it tastes now. one thing i don't like about this is that these things do drip out their little hazelnuts out of the way so the wrappers are off can you tell the difference between the two so let's see here the name brand one is a little bit lighter in color for the little drumstick and then you got some hazelnuts there it looks like it's more evenly distributed compared to the non-name brand look at how little hazelnuts you get from that versus the one that you get for the name brand one so that's the main difference there so i'm touching it like this to feel the texture it seems like the name brand one is a lot harder and this one is a little bit soft i kind of can squeeze it right there but let's give it a taste test now so do keep in mind that these are 300 calories per so i'm eating eight to 600 calories just by eating these two i'm pretty sure a lot of people can probably finish two as well um i don't highly don't recommend it if you are trying to lose weight so yeah let's give it a taste test so what i'm going to do i'm going to compare the hazelnut with each other and then i'll compare the vanilla and then the caramel that's inside and then also the drumstick at the bottom so i'm getting the hazelnut first seeing how it tastes like taste your it's just regular like hazelnut and chocolate i always dislike eating these kind of ice cream because the nuts would fall all over the place when you take the first one and there we have it clean as butter right there it is that's the name brand one i just ate all the hazelnuts off of this okay now we're gonna go with this one but first let me rinse out whatever leftover taste i have for the other one i felt like the texture in the hazelnuts for these is softer so i'm able to eat it a lot faster like crunch it a lot faster than the other one the other one actually took me quite a bit to get all of it but this one i just took one bite and i took all of the hazelnuts off of this um ice cream already in terms of the taste the nuts are more defined on the brand name one than the non-brand. So like when you first take your first bite of the hazelnut off of the name brand one, you can taste the nuts that this thing has. And but then for this one, when you take the, the first bite, you don't really taste anything. And then until after you chew a couple of times and then you, you start to get that that nutty feeling. So take a look at this. Cleaned it up pretty well, right? Mm -hmm. This is a non-brand one. It seems to be more full in vanilla than the other one. So as you can compare, look at how I like the vanilla on this one is not sticking to the drumstick, but this one's like all stuck together. So you can't really take this out. You can probably take out your vanilla on the name brand one, but the vanilla is probably hard to take out over here. All right, let's take a bite out of the name brand one. So here we have it we already cleared it out <laughs> that was pretty easy for the name brand one okay now with the off brand one let me just get a little bit of water yeah there's a 
definitely a difference, but in terms of the taste, uh, they both really similar in taste because vanilla is vanilla and the caramel is caramel, but texture is different. Um, the texture on this one, the non name brand one, is more tender than the one on the name brand one. So, like, you know how you go to the McDonald's and order an ice cream? I know the ice cream machine is always broken there, but when you do are able to get it, you know, uh, that type of texture when you eat their ice cream is like very soft, right? And you can just use your lips to bite it off if you're going to use your lips to bite the name brand one it's going to put up more force more resistance because it's not as tender as the non-name brand one there we go we just cleaned it just like the other one so now can you tell the difference between the two let's see so look at that um as you can see the two of them you still can tell the difference because this one is lighter and that one's darker this one has more defined shape the other one does not of course, the left one is going to be yours truly, which is the name brand. The right one is not. So now let's taste the cone itself. Oh, yeah. Definitely a crunch on this one. You could probably hear the crunch. So this is the name brand one. So the name brand one does have chocolate surrounded around it. So let me show you. You see there's another layer of chocolate right there. You see the white part and the chocolate part? It actually surrounds it the entire time. So that looks that, that actually looks pretty good, right? And then we got a little bit of chocolate at the bottom of the cone. Look at that. Oh my god, that's a big chocolate. All right, so now let's test the non-brand one. <laughs> Did you see? Wow. This is very chewy. <laughs> you cannot hear any crunch. Oh my goodness, you gotta look at this. So remember how you were able to hear crunch sound because it's very stiff, but look at this one. Oh my goodness, look how bendy that is. Look at that, I'm just peeling this off. This has no texture at all, look at that. Oh my God, it's giving me a, I'm trying to pull this apart. It's giving me a really big fight, look at that. Oh my gosh. But it does have the chocolate inside as well, like the other one. So we're gonna give this more of a taste. Oh my God, it's like rubber, very chewy. Not as sugary as the other cone. You can barely taste any sugar on this cone, which makes sense because this one has more sugar than this one. So maybe that's why the cone itself doesn't taste that much of a sugar. I think the reason why this is more chewy is because it's double coated in the cone. Now you have two layers. Blair, come here. So you see that there's two layers here. See one layer is right here and the other layer is there. And then you have a chocolate layer. We did not see that for the other one. So maybe that's why it's so soft <laughs> or maybe, no, 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 that can't be the reason. It's soft because of its uh, material that it was made out of. I don't even know what the hell it was made out of. I feel like I'm eating a beef jerky. Look at this. It has a chocolate at the bottom as well. All right, guys. So my final verdict is, should you pay 30 cents more for the name brand one? Yes. <laughs> In my opinion, yes. If you are used to eating the name brand one like this one, you want to go for this. Uh, obviously, you do not want to choose this one. And also, you can get cheaper with uh, other places for this uh, compared to this because this is only a name store brand of Kroger. So you only can find this at Kroger, but you can find this almost anywhere. So you could probably find these more on sale than on this one. So you might be able to get the same price. You're paying the same price uh, per ice cream on this for this. But overall, yeah, I think this one wins because of the, how crunchy the the cone is. The hazelnuts, you definitely taste it with your first bite. The I like the texture of the vanilla on this one, though, because it's much more soft and tender. I like it for the vanilla. This one's a little bit harder. But overall quality, obviously, you could taste the higher quality in the name brand one. So guys, let me know if this video was helpful for you. Are you going to keep on choosing your name brand one or you can go off brand because of inflation and you need to save a little bit of money? Let me know what you think. Comment down below and tell me if you found the difference between these two as well. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like the video, please. And then we will see you in the next one. Bye.